What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are here with the most awaited video of the season. We will discuss about the transit of Jupiter which is happening in the sign of Libra, the sign of balance in September of 12th this year. Yes, so Jupiter, the planet of great positivity wisdom, spirituality, divinity, knowledge and God and our connection to the higher dimensions was transiting in the sign of Virgo from August of last year and now finally after staying there for a year almost it has decided to move to the next sign okay to the sign of Libra, the sign of balance, okay? So, how this transit is going to affect you? How will you know that? Just simply see which house is the sign of Libra falling. Just see the house where number 7 is falling, okay? Depending on that, you will have the effects of Jupiter into Libra. So, before discussing individually on the 12 Lagnas, we will discuss what do you mean by Jupiter's transit into Libra in general for anybody okay so what is Jupiter Jupiter is positivity light divinity spirituality wisdom God the ancient scriptures okay Jupiter is the guru the guide who helps us in difficulty okay it is the significator of the ninth house of spirituality wisdom etc okay ancient knowledge these things are all ruled by Jupiter and on a mundane sense it represents those things which give us happiness. What does happiness mean? On a mundane level, happiness comes from different sources like the second house of family, second house of food, okay, second house of values, second house of traditions, then fifth house of children, fifth house of creativity, love and romance, and then ninth house is the house of God. And then also eleventh house is friend, friend circles, networks, gains, money, etc. Okay. So Jupiter has dual aspects. One is the spiritual, another is the mundane materialistic side. Okay. Now, what does Jupiter transit into Libra mean for all of us? Okay. Basically, what is Libra? Libra is the Multricon sign of Venus. If you do not know what is Multricon, then please go back to the earlier video and watch. Okay. And then, apart from this, Libra is the sign where Saturn, the planet of discipline, finds its highest exaltation in 20 degrees, right? In Swati Nakshatra within Libra. And Libra is the original seventh house of relationships, of our partner, of spouse, of marriage. Yes, seventh house is the house of marriage. Our partnerships, the contracts, deals, agreements that we sign, these are all ruled by the zodiac sign Libra, yes? So finally, Jupiter was in Virgo from one year, okay? 11th August, I guess, last year it went in Virgo from Leo. And Jupiter was in the sign of Virgo trying to analyze things from a very critical perspective. Jupiter does not like the sign of Virgo very much, okay? Because it is the sign where Mercury gets exalted. What is Mercury? Mercury is business, money, etc. So here Jupiter is forced to be very much nitpicky about details, okay? And he's now forced to see things with a perspective, with the attitude of criticizing, which he does not like. The Guru always wants to inspire. The Guru doesn't like to criticize, okay? He may find faults with the disciples sometimes to correct them, but that's not... Uh, daily activity which he does that from the morning he's just criticizing you okay but now finally Jupiter after staying there for one year and being retrograde for four months it has decided to move into the sign of Libra and it is also not very happy here but it is quite better than being in Virgo okay because Libra is the sign of balance and Libra is natural relationships so when Jupiter transits into Libra, what can you expect? You can expect to see growth, positivity, wisdom and expansion in the areas of relationships of people. People will suddenly feel very much positive about their relationships. Okay, Those people who are 
thinking, oh, should I get away with this person or am I done with this person? They will suddenly feel, oh, no, 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 maybe we should give this person another chance. We should try to see things from his or her perspective also, not just take what we think is good into account, okay? And Libra also represents deals and contracts. So people will be very much hopeful towards negotiating things, okay? In putting forward their things, their decisions, their ideals, their goals, and trying to hear, okay, sir, uh, this is what I say. What do you have to say, okay? And that is where relationships the, uh, find the perfect balance because you have to uh, give everyone their say, okay? So there will be a lot of teamwork and a lot of activities related to groups, okay, and collaborations. And those are the signs which Jupiter in Libra will manifest because Jupiter will naturally expand the traits of Libra. So you will find people becoming more social okay so people who are into tourism or traveling business they can expect very much uh, growth of money by this okay and especially business business is the core sign of Libra okay and business activities will expand and people will want to feel more social because Libra is the sign where you want to go out and meet people okay so instead of saying uh, staying alone in the home you'll be like well, I'm not just sitting here. Let, let's go and meet people. Okay, this will be the hallmark of this year, of course, depending on the position of the other planets, as I give a disclaimer always. Okay, and before we begin on the travel of Jupiter into Libra for different Rashis, for different Laganas, I would always say that God is there with you all the time. He has been there with you even when Jupiter was in Virgo and now he is definitely going to be there with you more all the time when Jupiter transits the sign of Libra. Okay, therefore, let us begin. So, from which ascendant should I start? Let me start from Libra ascendant itself, okay? So, for a Libra ascendant, what does it mean? Jupiter was transiting into your 12th house, okay? Jupiter does good in the 12th house for spiritual matters, okay? For wisdom, for giving you great introspection on your own spiritual pursuits, okay? What do you think spirituality to be, okay? How do you connect to God internally? Because 12th house is the subconscious house of how you see things and how you perceive things as okay I am seeing this now but how am I feeling it inside that is also signified by the 12th house so at the same time you could have had some difficulties with hospitals and expenses and 12th house Jupiter because 12th house is also a malefic house you might be feeling because Jupiter is the Jiva it's the significator of Jiva you could have been feeling that uh, I feel as if I am dying <laughs> because 12th house is also the house of exit okay so the positivity inside you would have found that it feels as if there is not much hope left for me in this life yes I feel as if I am done okay I feel I don't know when I will feel positive anymore many Libra ascendants have been telling me that they are going through this scenario when they are trying to see where is positivity but they don't find it. But now, congratulations. After one year of difficulty, Jupiter is finally coming to your head and it is sitting on top of your head, okay? Because Lagna is the head. And when Jupiter sits there, what happens? It gets directional strength in the first house. He's extremely powerful there. So, you will feel like living again. The desire to live will come back. Congratulations to all Libra Ascendants. You will again feel lively. And at the same time, because it is the Lord of the 6th house and the 3rd house, so you will focus on your health and doing short distance travels more. And you can at this time meet a great Guru. Okay, Spirituality will increase. Divine Wisdom will come to you. You may start something new spiritually. It is a very good time to probably learn astrology. So if you know some Libra Ascendants, your friends, please forward them this link because you know that once they see this, they will definitely try to come up and see the videos, okay? Because it is like a guru who is coming to their ascendant. Ascendant is the whole life, okay? So that's extremely positive for Libra Ascendants. 
and then now for Virgo ascendance, Jupiter was in the first house and now it is going to a second house. It will expand your family. Okay, you will want to get married because Jupiter transiting in the second house, seventh house, and eleventh house is one of the indications of marriage. You will want to expand your family. You will feel as if I just want to have a family. You will feel like eating more. Okay, you will feel like overindulging in sweets, and you will also want to go to people and have kind of a family gathering. Okay, because you will feel that now I need to feel myself lively through the second house okay because jupiter is the planet which gives you the feeling of liveliness okay what makes you happy internally okay so you will focus on your family very much okay and good news can come in your family somebody may have a childbirth or somebody may might get married or you might get married okay and for the next leo ascendance jupiter is transiting the third house so great amount of wisdom comes when you go for short distance travels okay you will feel very courageous this month you will feel as if i can do anything okay you will feel as if yes god is there with me all the time god is always there but this year you will definitely feel he's there with you okay you will feel very courageous very positive and you will feel as if i will rock the show today nobody can stop me today okay that is wonderful okay and when you do short distance travels you will gain a lot of wisdom and you will feel that i'm learning so much okay and you will want to do creative pursuits because third house is also creativity and then we come to the ascendant of emotions cancer ascendants okay so cancer ascendant jupiter is transiting in your fourth house okay what is fourth house fourth house is your home the family that you create after you get married so when Jupiter transits the fourth house, this can be a beautiful time to focus on your home. Okay, you will want to decorate the home. You will feel like, yes, I need to decorate my home. Yes, I want to call people to my home. I want to enjoy in my home. Okay, you will very, feel very much connected to your mother because fourth house is mother. You can buy a new car also or you can also take a new home because fourth house represents all these things. Okay. And apart from that, you will feel very much happy internally because Jupiter is in the fourth house. Na? You will feel as if I should do only good to people because fourth house is the house of your heart. Okay, So you will feel very good, very positive internally and people will be able to see that. Especially I have seen when Jupiter transits fourth house, it is fabulous. And then for Gemini Ascendants, Jupiter transits your fifth house. Bang! Birth of a new children okay birth of a new child or if you are uh, not married you can also get married because from there it aspects the 11th house okay and your creative pursuits will incre increase you will feel very good internally okay and some kind of mantra you can learn this time because fifth house is the house of mantra okay it is the house of disciple where guru gives you the mantra okay so maybe you can start chanting om namah shivaya or om namo bhagavate vasudevaya or maybe you can chant the gayatri mantra okay or you can get connected to spiritual personalities because from the fifth house it will aspect the ninth house and the first house and this becomes very important okay jupiter's transit in the fifth house is considered to be one of the best and then for the next ascendance which is Taurus, okay it will transit in your sixth house okay so when jupiter transits the sixth house what will happen your discipline your life your work your work life balance the areas where you have to do routine activities they will be blessed by jupiter you will feel as if oh i was not able to do this after a long time now going to the gym but now you'll be like yes i can go to the gym i can work on myself yes sixth house is the health you will your enemies will not be able to defeat you this time okay he will have victory over them because jupiter is transiting over your sixth house okay and you will also want to improve your health in a positive way maybe by going to some ancient techniques like ayurveda or reiki or whatever okay and then for aries ascendants jupiter transits your seventh house seventh house is the house of marriage so all you aries ascendants there watching me congratulations now the time has come jupiter 
has entered your seventh house and is telling that I am ready to bless this native with marriage. Okay? And from there it looks to the eleventh house of network circles. It will expand your network circles. You will meet many people. Okay? And then third house of communication will also spark up. Okay? So, Aries ascendants, you are very lucky. Jupiter will aspect the first house also from the seventh house. And then you will feel very positive inside. Okay? And then for Pisces Ascendants, Jupiter will transit your 8th house, okay? And this can be a beautiful time to start something new, hidden, something hidden, something which is related to occult, astrology, okay? Going deep, doing research. So if you are thinking, should I do a PhD or not, any Pisces Ascendant, then well, you should start your PhD now because 8th house will give you tremendous energy to do research, okay? Tremendous energy to... Uh, go deep into topics, okay? Your in-laws, which is the 8th house, second from the 7th house, they can prosper during this time, okay? Or your uh, your resources which you get from other people, they can also come, okay? So, that is also a very good uh, way to start something new, okay? Start something spiritual, okay? And then, ultimately, for the next group of Ascendant, we have... Aquarius, when Jupiter is transiting your ninth house, can't get better than this. This transit will happen only once in 12 years. So all you Aquarius ascendants, you are the most lucky after Libra and Gemini. Okay, Jupiter, the planet of spirituality, is coming to its own house. The sign of Libra falls for you in the ninth house. So. Great optimism towards spiritual pursuits. You will feel like connecting to your gurus. Even if you are an atheist, Aquarius people, because Rahu is your co-lord. But this year when Jupiter transits, you will feel as if, Oh, I need to go and read the Gita. Maybe I need to go to the church once. Maybe I need to go to the temple once. Maybe I need to go and talk to that uh, sage or that pujari who is sitting in the room. Okay, I need to go and ask him what God is. I need to know who I am. The, Ninth house is the house of dharma. It is the direction in life. You will want to know about what you are doing in life. You will want to know if what you are doing is right or wrong. Okay, and you will feel greatly positive. From there, it will aspect the third house of efforts and fifth house of children. So you can also have a childbirth. Okay, in this time. Okay, and beautiful it is. Jupiter transit in the ninth house is fabulous. And then for Capricorn Ascendance, always running after work. Yes, this is the time to work. Jupiter will transit your 10th house. 10th house is the Midhaven. It is the house of name, fame. Needless to say, everybody knows about the 10th house. And Jupiter transiting the 10th house in Libra will go zoop. And it can give you wonderful, great career opportunities. Brilliance. Super brilliance. Your your uh, your name fame status can skyrocket. Okay, and you will be very positive if you are working for something. And if it is not happening, I guarantee you, it is going to happen this year. So all you Capricorn ascendants, don't listen to anybody. Just do whatever your heart wants. Okay, apply it to companies, or if you are planning to give a, a competitive exam, give it. Or if you are planning to open business, just do it. Whatever you want, just do it. Jupiter will bless you this time okay it is in the 10th house of career your name fame will shoot okay and people will recognize yes there is this person capricorn ascendant congratulations and then finally sagittarius ascendants oh my god you are so lucky jupiter is transiting into your 11th house of hopes wishes gains desires fulfillment okay and from there, it aspects the third house of communication, the seventh house of marriage, and the fifth house of children. Okay, so beautiful time to get into relationships, to start getting married, or to have children, or for short distance travels, making friends. Okay, you will have great social circle this time, this new, uh, the coming year, and you will feel as if I need to gain happiness through my friends. Okay, and you will feel as if I should go and socialize more okay and your you can get some promotion some recognition 11th house is also recognition promotion upliftment in career because it is a gain of career 10th house 
is 12th and it is second from the 10th house. So gain of your status is from the 11th house. So promotions, great upheavals, award ceremonies, this is your time, Sagittarius ascendance. Okay, please see where you can get something of new sources of money. 11th house is also the source of income. Okay, so if you are planning to apply for something, do it. Capricorn and Sagittarius, just, just do it going to bang don't worry just do it man it's just going to bang and lastly Scorpio ascendance Jupiter will transit your 12th house so Jupiter will ensure you get a good sleep this year yes because 12th house is the house of sleep the only precaution you need to take is your health can have some challenges you might need to take a checkup to a hospital sometimes but it is good because Jupiter is a benefit okay Jupiter will try to give you indications it will try to tell you that look sir you are suffering in this regard please go to the doctor and then you will realize later oh my god if I didn't go my god this disease could have gone very high so at the end after October of next year you will thank Jupiter okay and 12th house is spirituality ashrams monasteries silent places long distance travels okay foreign travels so if you are planning to go abroad this is the time okay you might meet a guru in the foreign lands okay and you will become very much internal inside you will always try to see things from a very deep perspective okay and you will feel like doing charity giving donations okay you will feel like let me just give out something which i have which i have earned from my family my work or whatever people have given me okay and you can also meet a guru in the foreign lands okay because 12th house is also foreign lands and jupiter is the guru so finally libra ascendance this is your cream time then gemini ascendance and aquarius you three are the most luckiest and then equally lucky are sagittarius and capricorn okay and everybody is lucky when jupiter transits into some house okay so that's it from my side. If you have any questions, queries and comments, if you have still not subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to it and please click in the notifications bell so that you get the updates when I upload the videos, okay? And before ending, once again, God is there with you all the time. Just pray to Him after September of 12th this year towards October of the next year. So that he gives you abundant blessings through spirituality, through wisdom, through gain, through positivity, through money and helping you to go inside towards self-realization. That is the number one objective of Jupiter. Okay. So until next time, until the next transit of Jupiter into Scorpio 2018. See you. Bye-bye.